Hi there. Good morning, Clocking the Gallup fans. Welcome to Racing Today on this Wednesday, the 3rd of August. We've got Racing Today down in KwaZulu-Natal on the Gravel Poly Track. Uh, yesterday was a tough day out at Kenilworth. Everyone thought that it was uh, plain sailing, but I've got to congratulate Neil Andrews on finding Rocking Ringo yesterday with the Loon Trottois up. And, uh, it, uh, you know, we had a long discussion last night about uh, how easy racing might appear to be and how people willy-nilly just tip favourites after favourites upon favourites and expect uh, the desired result. It's not going to happen, folks. You have to do your homework, one, and you have to be aware that racing is a tough old game. Many people have gone out in the game and uh, you have to look at the form carefully. Don't presume because horses are favourite or are strong favourites for that matter, that they're home. There are other factors that come into play. So let's that, with that in mind, we're going to today's card. The Ghost Rider did tip a best bet today, but I've decided against tipping it as a best bet because I don't think it is a best bet. So I'll say that outwardly. Um, I'll tell you what the best bet is, but I'll tell you why. As a clock in the Gallup uh, team member, I've decided we're not going for it as a best bet today. But let's run through the selections today. And I'll also give you the value bet on the card, courtesy of the Ghost Rider, who's been in terrific form, it has to be said. Um, three days last week, he found winners on those three days, and uh, including Gold Cup Day, which was sterling. And uh, well done to him. So let's go forward to today's card. It's Wednesday the 3rd. There's racing on the poly track today. Eight races are carded. First race will jump at half past 12 this afternoon. And that is a maiden plate over 1,400 metres. Also, double check to see what the latest changes are, courtesy of uh, www.sahorseracing.co.za. There have been two scratchings on the car today, and neither of them affecting us. So the track condition is standard, and they've had four millimetres of rain in the last seven days. Let's go on to the card. We start off in that first race where the Ghost Rider is tipping horse number five to win it, number five being Parmenian from the Garth Puller Stable and Robert Carty rides. So Parmenian is the top choice here to beat him. Number one, Captain Catman for second. Third goes to number seven, Fleet Commander. And fourth to number two, Arverni King. Selections there are five, one, seven, and two. That is the start of the bipod today. And let's just also have a look at the changes in the first race. There are none. So race one is all clear. Race two is the start of the place. Accumulator jumps at five past one. It's a maiden plate fillies and mares over 1,900 meters. Again, race two is clear as carded. The selection here is number two, American style for uh, Alison Wright and Rachel Venneker. And everyone watching today's racing will note that Rachel Venneker is back to her claim of one and a half kilograms because of the new ruling by the NHRA. That, again, is another case that needs to be um, ventilated and uh, discussed, debated amongst uh, some role players. So hopefully we can work on that and see what uh, people think about that. But she is back to a one and a half kilogram claim today. The champion apprentice from last season will be crowned champion apprentice at the Equus Awards later on this month. But American style is tipped to beat him. Number one, green sleeves for second. Third to number four, top 10. And fourth to number five, Ed Vigay, two, one, four, and five selection in race two, where, as I said, there are no changes. Race three is the start of the pick. Six runs at 13.40. It's a Phillies and Mare 64 handicap, but it's over 2,000 meters. Just having a look if there are any changes here. I see that is all clear as card. It's a race three, no changes to report. And here, the top choice is the Gareth Van Zale, horse number five, Bay Breeze, with J.P. van der Merwe having his first ride aboard this filly today. Second to number four, name of the game in an open contest. Third, number nine, Roy's Rocker. Fourth to number 10, Q for you. The Ghost Rider says also include number one, Wedding Bliss, into calculations here. Five, four, nine, and ten with Danger One. On to race four, quarter past two. It's a merit rated 75 handicap. It's over 1,400 meters. In race five, you could scratch number two, Mvula Zana. And Mvula Zana is scratched out of race number five, rather race number four. Um, did I say race five? Yeah, sorry, there are no changes in the fourth race of the day. 
That is all clear as a race. Four is clear as carded. Here, the selection is number 10, Gentleman's Way, who is given as the value bet of the day for the Ghost Rider today for trainer Dennis Bosch and rider Muzzy Yeni. Gentleman's Way is tipped to beat number eight, Running Rifles for second. Third to number six, Q Wing. And fourth goes to number two, Cupid Song. The danger to include in bigger perms is the Gareth Vinzale train number three, National Unity. So 10, 8, 6, and 2 with danger number three, race number four. On to that fifth race. Well, I gave you the scratching early. The scratching is number two in Vula Zana. So race five off at 10 to 3 is a Phillies and Mare 74 handicap. It's over 1,400 meters. The scratching we've given you, that's the only change there. And here the top choice is horse number eight, Girl of Tragunta for Peter Musket and Tristan Godden, a recent maiden winner. Second, number nine, Winter's Destiny. Third goes to number three, Lady Tiptree. And fourth to number four, Lady Macbeth. Eight, nine, three, and four include number five, Demigod in larger poems. Moving to race six at 25 past three. It's a merit rated 60 at handicap and it's to be run over 1800 meters. In race six, the changes. Number one, Lucretius has a compression mask on. That's the only change in the sixth race. The top number here is number seven, Secret Giver for Gavin Vanzell and JP Fandemeva. JP's got a lot of good rides, according to the Ghost Rider. It's tipped to beat home number four, Track Commander for second. Third goes to number two, Famous and Rich. And fourth goes to number nine, Star Crusade. Seven, four, two, and nine. The danger there to include is number five, Deep Global. Moving into race number seven, that's off at five to four. It's a merit rated 68 handicap and it's to be run over 1800 meters. I'm just going to update the changes for race number seven. There is a scratching now, number four, Sea of Galilee being scratched. In the seventh race, numbers one and three, Space News and Lord Minver, both race with compression masks on. And number six, Brave Voyager has the cheek pieces on. Now this, I think, was the race that I was... Um, against the Ghost Rider. He is tip number 10, Dowser, as a good thing. Tipped it as the best bet of the day. I see there's been a bit of money for it. I'm saying tread cautiously. Uh, 10, Dowser, was going to be a best bet. From, uh, definitely is a bit best bet for the Ghost Rider, but I've decided against it, but it may well win. Second to number seven, Double Espresso, I think is the right horse here. And I think is a massive danger. And I like Double Espresso to win. Third goes to number nine, which is Cafe Pacifica. Um, in fact, third goes to number five, rather. My apologies. Number five is High Green. And fourth to number three, which is Lord Minba. So the selection is 10, 7, 5, and 3. Um, and that's the race that uh, we differ uh, markedly on. And I believe that Double Espresso, I'm just going to go and have a look at the betting to see what the two are trading at, at the moment. Remember that we're recording this before eight o'clock on the Wednesday morning. So I'm just going to have a look and see what those prices are in race seven. I see that Dow's has been backed in from 15 to 10 to 11 to 10, but you can get as much as seven to one about double espresso number seven in the seventh race. The eighth and last race jumps at 25 to five. It's a Phillies and Mare 69 handicap and it's a sprint that's over a thousand meters. Number two, Capriana has a compression mask fitted in the eighth and final race. Here, the selection is number three, New Orleans for Carl Hewitson and Ryan Munger to beat him number seven, Her Royal Majesty, third to number nine, Magically, and fourth to number five, Miss Magician. For inclusion, take numbers two, eight, and 10, Capriana, number eight being Looking Hot, and number 10, Puff of Smoke. This is a very tough race. I also see here that Shailen Naidu is visiting with number six, Quick Run. Um, Rachel will claim only one over one and a half, but this comes in with 53 and a half. Very fast horse. and uh, Might well be suited to the potty track out at Grable. And I think it might well be. So I am definitely going to include number six, Quick Run, into my calculation. So those are the selections for the eight races today. Stand by. We've got the value bet. And we've got the all-important place accumulator, the Ghost Rider, very big on his PAs, and he's been very successful too. So stand by for that. 
So eight races today. Place accumulator starts off in race number two. Uh, the perm today is going to cost you 640 rand. So that's a big permutation, 640 rand for the full unit. 64 rand will catch you 10% hopefully and uh, 128 rand for a 20% take of this bet. Let's run through it. First leg, one and two are the numbers here. And that is Green Sleeves and American Style by four and five, Name of the Game and Bay Breeze. Four numbers in the third leg, race four. Their numbers two, Cupid Song, six, Q Wing, eight, Running Rifles, and ten, Gentleman's Way. Then there are five numbers in race five or the fourth leg, numbers three, Lady Tiptree, four, Lady Macbeth, five, Demigod, Eight, Girl of Tragunta, and nine, Winter's Destiny. By four and seven, Track Command and Secret Giver. Then the Banker of Dowser. That may well be right. Um, bankering in the PA. And the last leg, three, five, seven, and nine, being New Orleans, Miss Magician, Her Royal Majesty, and Magic Lee for 640 rad. The value bet for today comes up in race four. It is number 10, Gentleman's Way. It's neatly priced at eight to one. It's not drawn the best race for number 10, uh, obviously from a 10 draw, but it represents a bit of value, eight and 10 to one being offered as early as 8 a.m. on a Wednesday morning. That wraps up today. Tomorrow there's racing on the Vol Classic track. We'll be coming back to you uh, tomorrow morning with more on South African racing from a clock in the gallop perspective. Enjoy your midweek racing on the start of the new season in KwaZulu-Natal. Looking forward to being with you again tomorrow. Bye-bye for now.